problem. Then your people will start to listen too. We can't just be doing it by ourselves. When we do it by ourselves, they're going to be like, oh, y'all are just trying to say there's something going on and it's da 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 but y'all are killing each other. Y'all are doing this, right? Now, this takes you back. I'm trying to get everything. This takes you back to racism back in the day. All this was taught. All this was instilled into people. It was made for people to think that black people act a certain way. They do a certain thing that they're, they're these big, strong, scary people. All this stuff was taught. So you may not be thinking that, but this is what was taught. So it just trickles down and it gets worse and it gets worse and it gets worse. And people say, well, you got to let slavery go. You're caught in that slave mentality. But when you try to let it go, but you still have people who are living like that and thinking like that, you can't let it go. Because then once you start, when you start trying to brush stuff under the rug, like it didn't happen, then it's still going to happen. It's just like when you have, like when you keep forgiving somebody for treating you wrong, when you keep letting, when you like, Oh, I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you. They're going to continue to do it because they're going to see that you're going to allow them to keep doing it. Okay. Now it's just, okay. Now this is how I feel. People perceive black people. I like to give people examples. Okay. So let's say you have, I know I'm all over the place, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm not a good talker, but I try to express my feelings because I feel like if I don't, if I'm silent, I'm, I'm part of the problem, okay? So I don't want to be silent. So I'm going to try to do the best that I can. I know I don't know my history like that. I know I don't really know all valid informations like that, but I'm speaking from the heart and I'm just, I don't want to be that person who sat back and said nothing because I'm looking, okay, I'm going to keep going. I'm looking at, um, I'm looking at all these rappers. I'm looking at Lil Durk. I'm looking at Gunna. I'm looking at, at, at Thugger. I'm looking at, at Lil Baby. I'm looking at the Baby. I'm looking at, uh, Lil Keed. I'm looking at all these rappers who have said nothing. I went to all their Instagrams this morning just to look to see if they said anything. And they said nothing. They said nothing. But you want people to buy your CDs. You want people to look at this versus bullshit. You want people to 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 go out here and act like thugs. I, I, okay. Relax. 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 Because my mama always told me when you start yelling, people, people don't listen when you yell. So I don't want to yell. But it's just, it's crazy that they sit here and they teach you to, the, they want to talk about guns and this and that. They want to talk about all of this in their raps. But then when these young kids are out here doing, doing what your rap songs are saying, you have influence over these kids. These kids want to be like you. These kids want to act like you. These kids look up to you. You may not know it, but you have so much power in your hand. But you sit here and you rap about turning on your homeboy. Fuck this. Got the guns. Do that. But then when these kids act like you and things happen to them, you don't speak up. But you are also a part of the problem. So what I'm saying is they need to be saying something right now. And I feel like people don't give a shit. People don't give a shit about anything if it doesn't affect them. And the reason I feel that they don't give a shit right now. now I don't want to say they don't give a shit. Maybe they don't know how to express it right now. But I think... The reason they're not expressing or it's not bothering them right now is because rappers, if they go to jail, they have the money to get out. So it don't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. And you know why the cops don't really abuse them and choke them and put their knees on them? It's because guess what? 
when you lock Lil Gu when you lock the baby up, when you lock Lil Wayne up, or when you lock any of these rappers up, they're gonna get that money. They're going to get that money. So they don't abuse you how they're going to abuse a regular guy who's making ten dollars working at Walmart or a guy that's making twenty dollars that's working at a a, 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 a a warehouse they don't give a fuck about that guy I'm not saying I'm not saying all cops are bad I'm not saying that again I'm not saying all cops are bad but there is a problem that is going on that is what i'm saying there is a problem that is going on and people need to understand it now hold on, hold on. um i feel that i feel there should the same way people were talking about um coronavirus oh coronavirus 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 it should be the exact same thing right now it's the same way y'all cared about the old people the young people the, the virus is killing people but guess what there are people out here killing people the same way that virus is out here doing that there's a there's people out here doing that and i feel that the world the same way we came together about coronavirus they need to come together. What? Where's the actors? Where are the, the 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 rappers? Where are all the YouTubers? Where are all these people now who were just so vocal about coronavirus? Why can we not be vocal about a person taking another person's life? There's not a vaccine for that. Same way coronavirus got a vaccine. There's not a vaccine for that. It needs to be the people to say enough is enough. It needs to be the people. The people are the vaccine for this. Now, about the rioting, about the rioting, I know there's a lot of people saying the rioting is wrong. The rioting is not right. They shouldn't be doing that. Y'all, I used to agree in that, but there comes a point in time when how long, since 1960 whatever, it is 2020. 2020. Our great grandmothers and ancestors are dead, y'all. It is 2020 from 1960, 50. We have been protesting, marching, pleading. Posting on social media for years, years, nobody is listening. When you're finally fed up, because that that I don't know who he was. I think he was a bad. Uh, he was a he was a, he was the actor in Spider Man. He was like, y'all, we can't fight hate with hate, or we can't we can't riot because of this. Sweetie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sweetie. I am sorry. When you are tired, it's it, when you're tired, you're tired. And people are tired of the same thing. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense why people have to go to social media why people have to march because somebody got killed and you have the video. You have the video. Why do you have to march? Why do you have to protest? Why do you have to, to stand in front of a courthouse where they're not even looking out the window because they don't give a fuck about you standing outside? They're going to make their money regardless. Why do you have to march down a street when you have the video that this man had his fucking knee on somebody's neck and killed him. You saw it. What do you need? What do you need? Over and over again, the guy who was in his car
car with his child, his wife and his child and got shot. The other person that got shot, the guy that was on the CD and got shot. What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? So for you to sit here and say that these people cannot be hurt and, and the reason they're hurting is because, yeah, it may not have happened to their family yet, but they don't want it to happen to their family. They don't want that to happen. So, so what they're doing is when you, they, they burnt a, a precinct. That was a message to the people who are doing it. They weren't sitting out here burning down people's houses or it was a precinct, a jail place. That is, that was a, that was a statement like this. I want you to hear me. I want you to hear. I want you to see how I feel. I am hurting. I am mad. I'm tired. That's what that was. I am tired. It wasn't black people being, um, ratchet.
the police are a gang, the government's a gang, then you have us as people. We're all pieces on a board, right? And I feel that they place people in certain situations to make things look like they're not. So I feel that lady was a part of the government or whatever, or a chess move to make it seem like, see, Black Lives Matter, y'all supposed to be doing this, but y'all out here stabbing people. Why was she out there anyway doing that? You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you stabbing the people that you're supposed to be out there helping and, and, and believing with? You know what I'm saying? Like, if we're out there for the purpose on burning this place down, why are you stabbing the people? You're not really out there for us. You're not. You're out there on a different mission. Your mission was something else. Your mission wasn't to make a statement on how we feel and what is going on. Your mission was confusion. It was to 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 start whatever else. And I guess, I, I don't know, but it was something else. Then they said... Then they said that it was a police officer. You know, social media works fast. They post out videos and stuff. They work fast. And they said the guy who started the beating down the target windows was actually a, a cop. So it's like, don't try to make what we're doing look bad. You know, I don't know. I don't want to speak too much on it because I don't know if all those facts were real, if he really was a cop, whatever, whatever. But you got to look at all that and see you got to really see if all that comes about and if it was true. But I do believe they do put people out there to make things look worse than what they are. Now, keep moving on. Um, uh, the Trump thing. The Trump thing that what he tweeted yesterday really bothered me. That bothered me, too, for the simple fact you said once they start looting, start shooting. Now, I've been looking at all my social media stuff, and I've been looking at that. And um, that was the same phrase. That was the same phrase that a racist sheriff said when something happened. Hold on, I got it on my phone. That was the same phrase that a racist sheriff said when... um. When this happened back a long time ago. Let me show you guys. Hold on. This shit is crazy. It's just crazy. Like, people don't want to think that he's racist. I, I, I really don't believe Trump is for black people. I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to make any assumptions, but I just, something about his spirit just doesn't sit right with me. It, it doesn't sit right with me. And I just don't. I don't, I just don't like him like that. I'm sorry. I just don't like him like that. Okay, this right here. This. Hold on, guys. Okay, this right here. So it was like when the looting starts, when they start, um, when the looting starts, start the shooting or whatever. And that came from a sheriff, him right here, Sheriff Headley. Um, this, this is the same thing he said. This is back in 1967, you guys. This is back in 1967 when he said this. And his name was Walter Headley. And this was his um, newspaper thing. So I guess they were, he, this was when like the black people were doing something or something was going on. And then um, somebody said this was fake news. I'm going to go look it up. I just want to say it. I'm going to go, I want to look it up. But um, this is just what I saw. And if it is fake, then let me know. But if it's not, then okay. But um, I'm going to look it up. But let me know if it's fake, you guys, because I don't like to I don't like to believe fake stuff. But um, but it's still what he said to me was sad. Um, it was it's factual. OK, thank you for it. Cause somebody said fake news. Um, but what he said, when he said when the looting start, when when they start looting, start shooting. That was just crazy. And how I took his tweet, I because I, I know I write exactly how I talk right I, I kind of write exactly how I talk and that's what I tell people when you text me I prefer to talk to you through voice message because I feel like you can understand what I'm saying so hold on 
let me let me take let me let y'all hear how I read his message. Now this is just me, but this is how I read what he wrote about what he said. This is how I took it, and then we're gonna get back on what we were talking about. Um, okay. Now listen, y'all. This is how I took it. These thugs. Now he put thugs in capital letters. Now, mind you, your words speak so, so big, okay? So you said these thugs. Now, that's like you already gen generalized. I want to say, say it's like you already generalized all those people. Now, all those people out there aren't thugs. That's like me saying all cops are bad. All cops are bad. If I say that, uh, or if I say fuck cops, because all of y'all are this, all cops aren't bad. So you said these thugs in capital letters are dishonoring the memory of George Floyd. Now, I know what the definition of thug 